How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I've got a productions hack for you. Yeah, we're playing Farming Simulator 22 and I know it's going to take a little bit whenever you first get into the game to try and figure out a way to make some money. Now you can do the money cheat that a lot of people already know about. We've got another video already showing that off, but today I want to show you how to make some money without necessarily having to do that money cheat. So it has to do with your production chains. Now there are multiple different ones around here. The one we're going to look at today is going to be the grain mill up here on the north side of the map. So here we are on the prices menu, and you can see for wheat right here, we can deliver this to the Feed and Grain South, Goldcrest Valley, the Grain Mill, or Johnson's Farmer's Market. Now, you're not going to get the most amount of money right now. This does fluctuate just like it did in Farming Simulator 19. So this is going to be maybe a little bit more of a long-term strategy for you instead of getting you a really, really quick price right off the bat. But I think once you do this, it's going to make sense on why you need to keep doing this, and I'll explain that as we get into it. As you can see right here, we have our nice truck and trailer. It's got a bunch of grain in it. What we're going to do is we're going to go and drop off into here. We're going to sell to this point right now. All right, so we just sold about 43,000 liters of product and made about $30,000. Next, what you're going to do is come up right here to this icon. As you can see up there in the top, if I press down on my left joystick, it's going to bring up this menu. It's going to ask me if I want to buy this building for $96,000. Now, it's going to take a little bit to be able to get here, but whenever you first start in the game, you're going to have some wheat, you're going to have some canola, and you're going to have some oats that are ready right away. We're starting in August, and that's harvest time for those crops. So go ahead and bring everything up here, and whenever you get $96,000, you can purchase it. Like I said, this is going to operate as a sell point, so we're going to go and buy this right now. Boom, there we go. It's purchased. So as you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner, I own this facility now. Now it says that I can do wheat, barley, oat, or sorghum, turn them all into flour, so you can also see down there building storage. It's got oats at 43,084 liters. Now it's already making flour for me. So what I need to do is come back over here. And when I click on this, I can turn these on and off. So now that I have just my oat flour going, what it's doing for me is if you come across over here, you can see that it is storing this product. Now that means it's going to put the pallets out front for you. Now, if you don't want that, you can take this and turn it to selling. Now it's automatically gonna sell this product for you and make more money. So all you have to do, bring your product up here, put it in, it's gonna turn it into flour, and boom, it's gonna sell it for you. Now, if you wanna take this to the next place, distributing. And all the different production facilities have other production facilities that you can take the products to. Now, not everything you're gonna be able to do that with, but I'm gonna go and show you the production chains image here right quick. And as you can see, for the mill right here, you are going to be able to take your flour and it's going to take it to the bakery. Now, once again, sorghum, oats, wheat, and barley are all going to be able to be taken here, turned into flour, and then taken to the bakery. Problem is, I'm going to have to actually own the bakery to be able to make the money there also. So if you're not going to take the product and do anything with it, and you just want to make the most amount of money that you can right now with this product that's coming in here, I would just turn this to selling. And what that's going to allow you to do is bring your product over here and sell it at the very beginning to be able to make the most amount of money that you can on that product. It's going to store it here in these big silos for you. And then when you have enough money off that, come down here and you're going to purchase it. And then you're going to be able to turn that to selling and then make the money off that also. Now, you're not actually going to be making the money off of the grain that you bring over here, but you're going to be able to make money on the flour. Now, I'm not quite sure yet how cost effective this is. Is it going to be more money? Is it going to be less money? I'm not sure right now, but if you're wanting to use the production chains to maybe make a little bit more money right off the bat, I think this is a great way to do it. We are going to be looking at the production chains a little bit more in detail once we figure out what the average prices and the max prices are on all of these products. I haven't been playing the game long enough to be able to get through enough days to be able to gather that data yet, but it is coming. We will look at that information. Well, everybody, that's going to be it. I just wanted to share this bit of information with you because I was really, really excited about production chains. When I came up here and found this out, I just had to share it. And it's great. It's If you're wanting to get started on production change right away, this is a fantastic way to be able to do it. You're already going to have product stored in that facility for you to be able to use. Now, if you're not using production chains, I wouldn't worry about it. I would go get your profit at the best place that you can. But if you're wanting to eventually use these production chains, this is an absolutely great way to be able to stockpile that reserve of product in that facility for you. So have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53. Signing off.